This video is an introduction to data lake houses. I assume you're familiar with the data lake concept where we're storing structured, semi-structured or unstructured data in one place. And that one place is probably a cloud bucket storage like AWS S3 or Google Cloud Storage. For the purpose of this video, we'll assume that the data is being stored in Parquet files. We can query that data using a distributed query engine like Spark or Trino, or even a real-time analytics database like ClickUts. And this works quite well to start with, but eventually we'll run into some challenges. So the first one is schema evolution. Our queries might break if we add, remove, or change the data type of fields in new Parquet files. Data integrity. Our data can get corrupted or left in inconsistent states when multiple processes try to read and write Parquet files at the same time. The next one is query performance. As we add more Parquet files, our queries get slower as the query engine has to scan all the files to determine whether they're relevant for a query. Data discovery. Over time, we store different types of data in the data lake, but how do we know what's in there anymore? And then finally, access control. How do we make sure that users can only see the data that they should be able to see? And so a bunch of folks came across these problems around the same time and tried to address them. And that's led us to the next level of abstraction, which is open table formats. So the big three at the moment are Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hoodie. And these table formats solve a few of our issues. So schema evolution, so table formats let you evolve a schema like you would in a SQL database. Data integrity is handled by ACID support in the table formats. And then for query performance, the query engine can analyze table format metadata to understand the partitioning scheme and then ignore irrelevant files. But we still haven't solved the data discovery and access control issues. And that's where our next layer, the data catalog helps. So two popular catalogs are AWS Glue and Unity. For data discovery, the data catalog will tell us what tables are available to query. And the data catalog controls access and provides the appropriate credentials to query the data lake. And these four layers make up the data lake house. So we've got the query engine, the data catalog, the table formats, and then finally the data lake for storage. And you'll probably have noticed that these layers are the same as what we have in the database. The query engine's the same, the data catalog is a database which contains tables, and then finally we have storage of the underlying data. To see how ClickHouse can form part of your data lakehouse architecture, you'll want to check out this video next.